Hello and welcome back to Monkey Gardening um, where it's still bloody raining. Um, what I've just done is I've um, tidied up these lettuce. I'm not able to eat them quick enough. Um, so what I've done is I've taken out all of these lower leaves. The problem is if, if you just let things grow, um, the lower leaves trap moisture, they trap slugs and snails. Um, and if they, they touch the ground, uh, they rot. Um, I actually found a couple of slugs as I was clearing all of this lot out. So I've just removed all of the outer leaves so there's enough space for air to get in and I can see what's going on. And there's nowhere for any little beasties to uh, hide. Uh, I'm just about to do the same with these ones here but um, they're, not, they're not as bad. Um, so yeah, what I might do actually at some point is take a couple of these out and give them away. Create a bit more space. There's also some kind of weird grass trying to grow through. Um, generally with a no-dig method you get very very few weeds um, and the ones that, you, that do come through are easy to spot and to uh, take out. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to clear up all this rubbish. Basically slugs and snails are more attracted to um, dead or decaying matter than they are fresh matter. So it, being hygienic and getting rid of anything that's, that's dead or anything that's discoloured or anything that's touching the ground and, and getting, getting mouldy um, is always a good move. Um, what I'd probably do now is put some more pellets um, along the side of the garden. I've not done it for a couple of months. Um, it's been so wet, um, I don't really want an invasion of slugs and snails. Hello, just catching up with the garden. Um, I've hardly been out there this week. The weather's been absolutely terrible. Um, I've had some things to do in the house. Um, so I'm just checking up on everything. Um, the main thing that's happening at the moment is all of my brassicas, this kale here, it's been very sorry for itself, and the cabbages and the uh, sprouts in here have all got um, signs of uh, caterpillar damage. Um, I think I've caught it in time. It's very hard to spot them because to start with they're, they're microscopic, they're little um, pinprick sized um, caterpillars. Um, but I've spotted a few that are a bit larger, so that's definitely what it is. And I've got some um, organic chemicals coming tomorrow, which um, should kill them all off. So I think I've caught it in time. Last year I didn't catch it in time, and it just they just ate everything before I spotted it. Um, as you can see, with the wet weather, the potatoes have gone absolutely mental. Uh, loads of growth there. I'm back to earth them up again. Um, here's my experimental. Uh, courgette, which I thought I'd just grow on just to, for fun to see how big it would go. Um, I liked it just because it was shaped like a banana. Uh, so yeah, it's turning into a proper marrow now. Um, I'll just leave that and see, see what happens. A bit of fun. Um, still getting loads of food out of the garden, so most nights I'm getting um, courgettes and a few broad beans. Um, I should start getting a few French beans um, coming through now. They're getting bigger. Um, lettuce is still good. Um, still can't eat enough of it. Um, that's all healthy. The chard has bolted, so I'm going to cut this down. Um, hopefully, it'll regen regenerate again. Um, Basil's not looking very happy, it doesn't like the rain at all. Um, still getting a few uh, raspberries coming through, which is good. The blackberries um, seem to take a much, uh, much longer to ripen, um, so I'm not quite sure when they'll be ready. Uh, maybe another month or two. Um, the broad bean plants, I'm going to start getting rid of them. Um, uh, as I eat the beans, um, they've not been at all productive. Each, pl each plant's only produced like one or two um, bean pods. Um, really not quite sure what went wrong with those. Um, they didn't seem unhappy, but they haven't produced much fruit. Uh, su sweet corn shooting up. Um, the other thing I'm going to have to do is um, start fencing stuff off, netting stuff off a bit more. Um, I've not had any squirrel damage. Um, but it's only a matter of time before they make themselves known again. Uh, in particular, these sunflowers are getting pretty big. Uh, and last year, the squirrels um, destroyed them. They, they uh, bit them off uh, to try and get at the seeds, I think. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a few jobs. I'll probably cut back to tomorrow when I've got um, the stuff to deal with the caterpillars. And I'll talk a bit more about those and what's going on with them. Oh, the, one more thing to mention, um, I've got the first tomatoes coming through, um, so that's good to see. 
there's plenty of flowers elsewhere on the plants um, so we should we should get a crop right so this is what we're dealing with if you've ever grown cabbages or any kind of brassica then you'll have had this problem um, what you see is these holes appearing in the leaves um, but when you look underneath the leaf um, a lot of the time you can't see anything occasionally you might be able to spot um, the little eggs which are kind of like little tiny dots um, but the caterpillars themselves when they first hatch out they're absolutely minuscule and they're very well camouflaged um, I'm trying to find one. Oh, there's one. I've got I found one uh, Can I get that into focus? Yeah, they're just getting a little bit bigger so you can actually see them with the naked eye now um, um, th There's different types of um, caterpillars which attack um, Brassicas, they're all commonly called um, cabbage worms um, one of them is the, the classic cabbage white butterfly um, and the other, two, the other two are two different types of moth um, so what I've got is some um, organic chemical which I'm going to put mix with water and put on. I'm going to do it in a bit because it's, it's too sunny at the moment, I'll scorch the leaves. Um, and this organic chemical, um, it's a uh, microorganism and it attacks the um, caterpillar's um, gut. So it ba basically the caterpillar dies of indigestion. Um, but it's not poisonous, um, it's completely harmless to humans, so there's, there's no risk in put, uh, putting it on the leaves and me getting poisoned eating the leaves later on. Um, if a bird come down and, comes down and eats the dead caterpillar, it won't get poisoned either. So it's a fairly um, non-toxic solution. Um, I, I don't like using any kind of chemicals really, the only thing I use in this garden is um, slug pellets. I don't really like doing that, but I can't really to tolerate the slugs and snails. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wait until the sun goes down and then I'll mix up the compound um, and put it on. Uh, and hopefully that should do it. Apparently it's supposed to take two hours to kill them. So um, the leaves get wet with the compound, the caterpillars eat the compound and within two hours they're dead. Um, and then you can repeat the treatment every couple of weeks. There's been loads of butterflies around so I will need to repeat it. Uh, so yeah, I'll put this little guy back on the leaf. He can have a little munch um, until it's uh, time for him to go his way. So this is how the compound comes, it comes in little sachets um, and you just mix this with water, uh, one gram per litre um, and then just water the plants as you would do normally. Uh, so I'm going to do that now and uh, we'll see if um, there's no more damage in a couple of days time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap up this episode. Um, the uh, experiment of course yet has grown even more today, uh, absolutely massive. Um, I'm also going to I'm also going to give the uh, tomatoes um, a liquid feed now that they've set flowers and some of them have set um, little fruits. I can show you a bit better now. I've got the cloche off. Um, yeah, yeah. So now now's a good time to give them a feed. Um, and the weather outlook it's supposed to be not particularly great tomorrow. A bit of rain around, but then the rest of the week's looking dry. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to be out here quite a lot and do quite a few jobs. Okay, thanks for watching, stay safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one.